Uh, okay, so after we have adjusted our shutters, we may need to go back to the lens tube assembly, right, and, and sharpen it a little bit more or soften it a little bit more. We may need to fine tune um, uh, the lens setting. And again, that's just by sliding the lens tube in and out a little bit. The other thing we want to do is confirm that the fixture is locked tightly into position. Just double check and make sure that it's not loose and that the pan bolt and the yoke bolt and the tilt handle are all secure. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the color in the front, right? So our color goes into a gel frame, our gel goes into the gel frame, and then it is installed in the front of the, um, of the lens tube. Right? There are grooves that the gel frame fits into and ideally we put the bent edge of the gel frame, the solid edge of the gel frame goes in first and it's important that we install that into the slot that is nearest to the lens. Right, Not, There are two sets of slots there, two sets of grooves. One is nearer to the lens, one is further away. The one that's further away is reserved for any um, accessories or other devices that may go on the front of the light. So we want to make sure that the gel frame goes in the one closest to the lens. And then lastly, we want to make sure that this gel frame clip is secure. The gel frame clip slides off to one side just a little bit to release. And then when you close it back down, it locks into place and that prevents the gel frame from falling out. Uh, so next we'll talk a little bit about a gobo. Goes before optics is what a gobo is. Which means that it goes between the lamp and the lens. Uh, the lens being the optics. It goes in the same plane, if you will, as the shutters. Which is a slot that's open just in front of the top shutter. Right? Our gobo holder looks like this. Here's a, little, a look at some types of texture that we might put into a fixture, right? So we um, put our gobo into our gobo holder, and then the gobo holder just slides into this slot until this top edge of the gobo holder is flush with the top edge of the fixture, right? So gobos, just like the shutters, it's important to realize that they are it will um, the image is um, upside down and flipped. It's inverted and flipped. So in order to get text or any image to line up the way you want it, you have to put it in upside down and reverse flipped of um, what you want it to be so that it when it's projected that it comes out the right way. So that's a little bit about um, installing gel and gobo. Uh, to make the gobo sharp, again, it's the same process of sliding the lens tube in and out. Just like it's sharp to shutter, you would go sharp to the gobo. And by sliding the lens tube in and out is what will allow for the image to be um, crisp um, and very sharp. Or if you want it a little softer, you may go uh, slide the lens tube a little more in or a little more out. But again, before you're done, make sure that that lens adjustment is, um, has been tightened back up.